Ever wondered what space does to the human body? In the weightlessness of space, your body starts changing almost immediately. One of the first things that happens, you grow taller. Without gravity compressing your spine, astronauts can stretch up to two inches taller than they are on Earth. But before you start packing your bags for space to grow a little taller, there's a catch. When you return to Earth, your spine shrinks back down pretty quickly. Another major change happens to your muscles and bones. Without gravity, your muscles don't have to work as hard, and your bones lose density. This is why astronauts have to exercise for about two hours every day to keep their muscles strong and bones healthy. Without that daily workout, you'd start losing muscle mass and bone strength fast. In fact, astronauts can lose up to 1% of their bone mass per month in space. Another strange change, your body fluids shift upwards. With no gravity pulling them down, your face can swell, giving you what astronauts call moon face, while your legs look thinner, like the opposite of being on Earth. Plus, you might feel a little congested, like you have a stuffy nose, because all that fluid collects in your upper body. But that's not all. Your vision can change too. Pressure from the fluid shift can actually flatten your eyeball slightly, which can blur your vision over time. Some astronauts even need glasses when they get back to Earth. Ever wonder what space smells like? Astronauts have, and their answers might surprise you. Now space itself is a vacuum, so technically there's no air and no smell out there. But when astronauts come back inside the space station after a spacewalk, they report a distinct smell clinging to their suits. So what's it like? They describe it as a mix of strange scents, like burnt metal, seared steak, or even gunpowder. NASA astronaut Don Pettit described it best after one of his spacewalks. He said the smell reminded him of the fumes from a welding torch, that kind of metallic tang you get after something's been burned. But where does this strange smell come from? Scientists believe it's caused by high-energy particles, think of them as cosmic rays, hitting the surfaces of the astronauts' suits. When they re-enter the oxygen-rich environment of the space station, these particles react with the air, creating those burnt or metallic odors. It's not just a single astronaut's experience either. Many have noticed the same scent after a spacewalk. So, while space itself doesn't smell, the experience of space definitely leaves a unique scent behind. Burnt metal, anyone? Did you know you can't burp in space? Yep, something as simple as letting out a burp is a big no-go for astronauts. But why? On Earth, gravity helps separate the gas from the food and liquids in your stomach. So the gas goes up and you burp. But in space, there's no gravity to help separate things. So if you try to burp, the gas, liquid, and food are all mixed together, meaning, well, you could end up vomiting instead of just burping. This is called a wet burp, and trust me, astronauts try to avoid it at all costs. Fun fact, during the Apollo 16 mission, astronaut John Young actually faced a different kind of gas problem. I got the parts again. I got them again, Charlie. I, mean, I haven't eaten this much citrus fruit in 20 years. After drinking some carbonated orange juice, he reported some gastrointestinal issues. Let's just say space isn't the best place for fizzy drinks. Nowadays, astronauts stick to drinks with no carbonation to avoid any space burp disasters. No soda, no fizzy drinks, just good old flat liquids. So if you ever find yourself in space, remember, hold the burps or you might get more than you bargained for. These towering structures are the pillars of creation, massive columns of gas and dust over 7,000 light years away in the Eagle Nebula. Inside these cosmic pillars, new stars are being born. It's like a stellar nursery, with intense pressure and gravity pulling material together, igniting the formation of stars. Hubble first captured this stunning view in 1995, but there was a challenge. While the image was beautiful, the dense dust and gas made it hard to see the stars forming inside the pillars. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. 
Unlike Hubble, which sees mainly in visible light, what our eyes can see, Webb uses infrared light, which can pass through the dust. It's like having night vision goggles for space. Now, thanks to Webb, we can clearly see new stars being born inside the pillars. What was once hidden is now unveiled, showing us the full beauty and power of star formation. The light we see from here actually left the pillars over 7,000 years ago. So what we're witnessing is ancient star birth happening in the past. It's one of the most iconic sights in the universe, the place where stars come to life, hidden deep within these majestic clouds. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.